Hey YouTubers, Xander here. Welcome back to Subnautica. As we load in last week, uh, we had started on a new file that I had worked on over the week before that. And now we are currently already in the primary containment facility. And we're actually about to meet the Sea Emperor. A uh, couple things. I felt like there was a couple things I wanted to do, but I forgot to check to see what they were. I know one of them involves the fact that the cuttlefish can follow us from basically anywhere and kind of teleports to our side. And apparently it has this, the health and durability equivalent to more than the Reaper Leviathan. So technically we could have brought him with us down here and it wouldn't have mattered. But that's besides the point. So let's see. I need to check. Okay, I've got that. I've got those. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much good. So, yeah, I think we're just going to kind of head on in. Okay, we do land right here. Hey, baby. <laughs> Oh, that's what it was. There's multiple scannable water pipes in that section of the map, so I'll have to head back at some point and try and scan those. So, let's hop on down and play. The uh, distinct lack of... Hi there. <laughs> Normal. What? I missed that aspect. Is it talking about this, maybe? It's like a new plant that is able to exist. The scanning sounds are different. Interesting. Oh, geez. I don't, there seems to be like an echoing in the background of her voice that also proceed like an echoing of what she's about to say. No? The Aquarium Arch. Oh, okay, there we go. Is scanning faster now? I feel like they increased the speed of scanning, which I am perfectly okay with. Hey, I also got that animation fixed. Mm 
Okay. <clears throat> so now we find out the part that I'm worried about. Okay. Sea crown I have. Eye stalks are easy to get. Ghost weed are easy to get. So are the bulb bush. Fungal sample. Fungal sample. Interesting. Hi. Okay. So. Okay, I guess. Oh, no, I don't think I can make it up. I think what I'll have to do is, uh... Ooh, that looks pretty. Huh. Still made it all the way up here. I'm impressed. Oh, snap. Well, what do you know? Okay. Oh, that's... I mean, why? Why give the ion cube that you would use for the teleporter right frickin' here that leads to the top? Why not just have the teleporter already accessible and activated? I don't know. I guess, I guess so you can't get that up there earlier and have the, whoa, that was odd, and have the cutscene involving the sea emperor be all weird. So now the question is, where are the pipes at? Yes, here they were. Okay, so supposedly an outflow pipe. All right. More unusual peeper behavior. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Assuming the inflow pipe, if there is such a thing, would also have a scannable portion. Don't mind you some, ouch. Hardcore, not so parkour. Okay. All right, uh, I guess it was just that one. All right, so now our goal is collecting those samples and making the hatching enzymes. So I guess we'll be heading up to the surface, hopping in Mini Zan and then heading on out. Conveniently. This will lead to the gun where we have our base. So whether or not I planned it that way, I have no idea, but it works.
And technically, I believe that means we have every single uh, <clears throat> teleporter open in the game as well. Okay, uh, game. Hi. Okay, don't they start? You know, say. I assume it's up there somewhere, though. Are you, dude? Because you're like being a little on the noisy side, and I don't appreciate that too much. Hmm. Oh, wait, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot Mini Zan was in there. Whoopsies. Ooh, could that be it? Oh no way, that is it! <laughs> How cool is that? It's right next to where I needed it to be, or where I needed it to be, I should say. And then look at that. Two of them right there. Oh, hey, actually. Hey, buddy! Uh, follow. There we go, okay. Now I'm gonna hop in home real quick. Thanks. All right, let's see here. I have no idea what just happened with it. Okay. So let's see. We have that and that. Now, if I remember correctly, in one of these... So I need the ghost weed and the eye stock. Alright, ghost weed and eye stock. Hello. Glop. Excuse me? No. No. Oh, I don't like that. That's not... Um... Excuse me? Oh, right? That ain't good. Maybe it's something to be used as a means of reducing our ability to farm for easily infinite food. But if that were the case, why not just make it take longer to <clears throat> grow or something to that effect? Alright, well, regardless. So now we need ghost weed and eye stock. Both, well, now one we probably could get 
more easily by just going to the underwater islands portion of the blood kelp zone however for the eye stalks i feel that we would still need to head to um the sparse reef while there might be other locations nearby specifically in like underground tunnels in cave systems and the grassy plateau I don't feel like attempting to search for one even though it's like right there all right mother fine fine oh are those sea crowns those are ha huh? that's funny However, these do not have what I'm looking for, so. <gasps> the cuttlefish is still with us. Don't attack the cuttlefish! Okay. That's not where I'm going. This is where I'm going. There you are. Wow. It's weird just looking straight down and seeing that that's where the Cyclops is. Thermal vent? Ah. Uh. Alright, let's take a quick break and repair you. Are you bumping into... <laughs> Silly goof. <clears throat> so here's the thing that I kind of... I believe I touched on uh, last week, but something I kind of... I guess I should reiterate. I realized that, alright, we're at the end game. Like... We're at the primary containment facility. In this episode, we will probably create the hatching enzymes and, in theory, be cured. So that creates the issue of, well, what happens after? I don't... We cannot leave the planet. Well, I think it technically... There's the blueprint for the ship base. We can't... <clears throat> actually oops leave the planet especially because there's no cutscene for it so so what do I do I've been to this area plenty of times. How am I at... Whoa! How am I at 60? Is it just me bonking into the cuttlefish? Hi there, dude. But are you, like, killing... Oops. theory that's just ghost weed right there right no Gabe's feather interesting so, so where is ghost weed if these are Gabe feathers these all gave feathers hmm. 
That's a ghost weed. That's gotta be. Oh, fuck off you. Did you just attack my cuttlefish? Alright, let's just be quick with this. Yeah, there it is. Ghost weed. Dude, seriously? Okay, come on. And if you want to just kind of like chill here. Oh, there's two of you. Mechanized ass hat. Okay. Got it. Oh, you're already been skinned. Nope. Okay. Yes. That hurts. So there we go. Damn it, really? Okay, you guys are bitches. Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. Whew, alright. So the ghost weed, the eye stalk. The fungal sample and the bush sample. So all that's left is the seed crown seed. Now, either A, I have that back in the Cyclops, oops, or B, I put that in my aquarium in the home, and so it should be grown there, and I can just cut a sample off of that. So. Alternatively, on the way back, we could just probably try and find that hole that we found them in in the grassy plateau and then just cut a sample off from that but we'll see what happens when we get there <sighs> they definitely seem to have reduced the durability of the sea moth because again we're already at 65% <clears throat> Again, however, that could just be the cuttlefish, which has the durability of a Reaper Leviathan to be bonking into our uh, mini Zan. Is he even around here? Can we see him? I don't think so. All right. I hope we only need one hatching enzyme. plant those in case I need more than one or do I just say screw it and hope I only need one I'm gonna hope I only need one because otherwise I'll have to wait for them to grow it'll take some time and I don't know what I'll do during that time I suddenly randomly want to play Resident Evil 4. Hmm. Weird. Oh, I mean, I haven't played it since the uh, series, so it's been a while since I played it. The aquarium. See that it's already in there. So we will get a seed of that. Which means that we can actually make a 
it in here because we can do that. And that. What the? Okay. Ah. Boom. There we go. Hatching enzymes. Hopefully, we only need one. Thank you. All right, cuttlefish, let's go. Again, a reaper. I can keep hearing him, but I have yet to see him in a bit, so. What is he doing? <clears throat> okay. Oh, shit. Doing this at night is a little bit less than ideal. Thermal vent, okay. It's like, what is that? Okay. Ah, that must be it. I was like, where's the entrance? I know the teleporter's near it, so I was thinking that this was the gun, not the platform where the teleporter actually was. Boom. Hmm. Yay, cuttlefish! Hello, Sea Emperor. I return. Oh, that was it. That was enough. Gotcha. Yay.
already leave. I guess. Oh. Yes, I did see this. Finally cured. Now can I scan you yourself, ma'am? Then tells me that's a negative. Okay. believe if we leave then show have passed but now I'm curious if we'll actually find the juveniles outside in the main map now well there we are I guess that answers that now doesn't it with them. So let's see what happens. Because now I'm in completely uncharted territory. I've never... I was never able to touch the enzymes in order to cure myself. So... Let us see if we can truly deactivate the gun. This will be interesting. That's it, huh? No broadcast. Huh. Like how he punched the button! Oops. Now, can I, s does that still work? Oh, shit. Hey, look what I got. 
Me so smart. Let's take a quick look upstairs. Mm. Mm. Let me check out, see if. See what the gun looks like. It's weird how like quiet it is. Oh, what the hell? Huh. Okay, that was interesting. So just kind of like aiming down at the ground, sadly, now that it's been deactivated. So now I'm curious as to how, what would happen if you were to approach things. Like if you were to turn this off and then activate the sunbeam. Would it still get shot down? Does that arrival message never appear? Like how does that work? Shit. No, 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 climb up, thank you. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool to see. Well, that aspect doesn't, but... Wow. That's cool. <clears throat> hey, buddy. The hell? Do you just teleport away because I'm cured? Hmm. Hehe. <laughs> Hmm. Yay. So now, unfortunately, I'm pretty sure we can assume that the Emperor has passed now that we return. No, come on. I, I, I don't like that. I don't. That's just... I 
It just seems agonizingly slow. Like I, I'd rather have her, whatever, him, her, however you want to look at it, be dead than just slowly suffering like that. Oh, shit. Also, I'm just putting the prawn suit back into Megazan. And then from there, we need to look into... Seeing if we can even build a ship. So we might need to head back to the Aurora? Question mark? for weird gravity. I have no idea where he is. I'm curious as to what it's like over here. This is just completely embedded into the rock. Got it. Hey, bro. Anything up here? No. Oops. I'm king of the facility. Hey, dude. this place looking darker anyways. So we can actually an aggressive creature with the ability to warp itself and others. Make another look at it in the head. Maybe it's a little more painted. Oh.
herbivore. Positive attitude to life. Exploitable. Oh, that seems new. Sulfur plant. Ah. All specimens scanned are carrying the enzyme which inhabit inhibits bacterial growth. They're they're all hungry. Not been active. Oh, enzyme 42, which is the answer to life. <clears throat> Oxygen deprived water is being floated from the system. Oh, Jesus. Destroyed the entire planet. Warp rag. Yay, radioactivity field. Millions of years old. Yeah, there's got to be something with this one. Get 
<laughs> I didn't know that was the one that existed. Now that was fancy. I loved it. Alright. Hey, dude. Oh, what am I doing? I need to go this way. Okay, so... Oh, yep, this is a mistake. Yep, mistake. Oops. Ouch. Owie. Oof. Owie. And safe. Right. Hmm. So that's... Oop, 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 oop. So that's it. There's nothing else to do aside from... What? I don't even know. Goof around in creative mode. You're still breathing. Barely. The only thing I could think of would, dear God, that hand. <clears throat> the only thing I could think of for a remaining thing to do would be if it's possible to build the which one call it <sighs> the thing for the escape ship. Because if that's possible, then yeah, we build that and we're good. At least it's something to do. There you are. However, if we can't build it, then... We can't build it, obviously. Hmm. Yeah. The one thing I think of is if we head back to the Aurora and there's the possibility that it's there, but somehow I doubt it. And even if we could make it, we can't, um... I know that they haven't implemented the cutscene for it. Oh, hey, Mesmer. Mesmer. I'm actually kind of curious if the game world like ha does still have Karar infected uh, individuals in it. What's this doing? Oh, wow. I'm kind of low on the power thing here. Fancy fish. Never mind. 
I was kind of curious. I'm wondering if we could put the Mesmer in the aquarium. That's not a doubt that would work as nicely as I wish it could. Oh, that was a thing. Try to see if I can... I don't know if I actually have the correct... Ugh. My builder's back in the Cyclops. See, there's not even a sun. Do I build a second? Um, do I even have the supplies to make it? Um, actually, I could. In theory, make a builder. Ooh. No, but I don't have enough copper. I lied. Okay, can't make one. Okay. Uh, Alright. I have no idea what to do. Let's go sit in our chair. Nah, let's go lay in our bed. Nope, that's not the way to do the bed. Her buddy derp buddy derp. Hey, bedroom. Okay. Yay. Okay. So it's a bit early, but I honestly I don't know what else to do in the game. Um, aside from like goofy offy type things, uh, one thing I would be kind of entertaining to do would be make a giant tower in creative mode and then cut at the base so that it fills with water and then just kind of I don't know watch it fill up with water I guess I don't know. Um, I, uh, I mean, I guess in creative mode I could create. Oh, well, actually, yeah. let's do that. Let's just quickly go in creative mode and actually make the base of the ship. You're not the base of the ship. Well, I guess it is the ship. It's like a spaceship or whatever, the escape ship. Hmm. Just see what it looks like. See uh, if there's anything that can be interacted with involving it. Interesting, I don't have the Markiplier doll. Two lead, two titanium, a computer chip. Oh, interesting. All right. 
No, stop it. Okay, so that works. I mean, if you look at it, is it literally just a vertical orange <laughs> sea or is it like vehicle symbol or cyclops? Yeah, so they won't actually do anything. Interesting. Why? Yeah, I don't care. Alright, let's head back to the main menu. <clears throat> Alright, so... I don't know what else to do. Um, so... God, that really sucks that I spent that entire week getting to where I'm at now just to, for only two episodes worth of content. But, A, what else? What can you do about it? Nothing. So, I guess, um... If there's something you want to see, something you want me to do, leave a comment. Give me some ideas for something that I could do. Uh, because if not, if I don't get anything, I guess next week I'll just try and move on to a different game. Uh, maybe I'll finally make or uh, bring back uh, Don't Starve. Uh, maybe some other type of survival type game, early access based. Um, the only one I can think of is Rust, but ugh. Rust is difficult to... Well, there's Empyrean. I could do that single play, like, solo, without having to worry about server stuff. Maybe Grav? I can't remember Grav, if that's... Alright, so, yeah. Basically, if there's no ideas, I'll probably just switch to another game, whether it's Don't Starve, or some other early access game that I've played before and maybe want to give another try or just play again because I haven't played them in a while so regardless uh, still it's cool to see the cure and the deactivation of the gun I know that right now the development team is kind of working more on polishing stuff I believe and so they'll be uh, it'll be a while before they add new stuff but I believe the next item on their agenda is to actually do the rocket based stuff and have the escaping the atmosphere uh, cutscene etc things like that so again while that doesn't add much content just more of the end game stuff it's it won't add much except for just like a cutscene or something but still the game's nearing completion so what do you expect <sighs> still love the game though uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I guess I'll see you next time.